Hello Finley and welcome to this week's edition of UFTV News. I'm Heidi Paxson. And I'm Alexis Mitchell. Last week the job fairs took over the AMU with dozens of companies and businesses for students to try to market themselves in preparation of graduation. There are other students, however, who are looking to further their education. The Graduate School Fair has been announced for March 16th after spring break in the AMU. For more information, it will be coming soon in the next few weeks, so make sure to pay attention to your Finley emails. Oilers Serving Abroad provides students with opportunities to broaden their horizons by hosting annual programs in the Dominican Republic. With the spring program quickly approaching, students and faculty share their experiences with OSA. Um, the biggest thing I think that they're doing is all of the students are building relationships with others in other countries. And no one can say, I don't have a friend in the Dominican, just as the people we're working with can't say, I don't have a friend in the United States. I think Euler Serving Abroad is about a new mentality. So you go there and you get to see these things and you get to um, experience it with these people that you don't know. And it's a really substantial experience about service learning and being together and camaraderie. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's just about being together and helping those in need. Our goal is for the program to, you know, we're not just going there to change lives. Um, lives are changing on both ends. The people living there impact us just as much, if not more. For more on OSA, visit The Pulse. Are you looking for some extra money this semester? Are you a fan of sports? Well, the Ohio High School Athletic Association has been hiring middle and high school referees and is always looking for new applicants. For those interested, check out OHSAA.org to apply. The basketball teams played their final home games of the season this past weekend, but for the seniors, this weekend was packed with more meaning. Carly Boner, Ricardo Smith, and Tyler Stern all performed in front of the home crowd for their final time storied careers as Oilers. For the full stories on these seniors, check out the Pulse website. Coming up, we look at our Oiler sports when we return on UF TV News. Why do I choose Union Bank? Because they understand that I work hard for my money and deserve a reward, like Everyday Rewards Checking, a checking account that rewards you with a refund on your ATM charges. Plus, you can get paid cash rewards or great interest rate rewards just for using your debit card or paying a bill online, right from your phone or tablet. Stop by the Union Bank today and ask about Everyday Rewards Checking or visit us online, your community bank. Union bank. Member FDIC. You're a teacher, a motivator, an innovator, and always needed. Your days start early. Your weekends are sometimes more work than play. But you'll persevere because you'll have teachers, innovators, and motivators guiding you each step of the way. University of Finley, preparing educators for meaningful lives and productive careers. This is the story of a boy who was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where nothing could get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. It made him feel uncomfortable. One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help. And slowly, he learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at AutismSpeaks.org. And I'm Dweller here with your weekly update of UFTV Sports. This coming Saturday and Sunday, Women's and Track and Field GLIAC Championships will be held at the Kaler Center. You can tune into this event here on UFTV Live Commentary throughout both days. This past week on Thursday, the women's basketball team took on the Tiffin Dragons, and it was a fight all the way into the end. The Oilers did not start off so hot against the Dragons and found themselves down 39-32 at the half. The Oilers would start the second half with a fast start, scoring seven fast points, and the momentum continued on for the Oilers. They would win 75-70, and Haley Horseman led the way with 17 points, and most of those points came within the paint. The Oilers moved on, Saturday, on to Saturday, taking on the number one team in the nation, and stayed in the game until about halftime. The Oilers struggled on both ends of the court, and the Eagles took advantage of that. 
and put up 110 points compared to the Oilers 65. The Lady Oilers head into their final game against Walsh University with an overall record of 9-12 and 3-10 and and in the GLIAC. The men's team is also in action this past week and they are on a mission to finish the regular season strong and make some noise in the GLIAC tournament. The men took down the Tiffin Dragons 105 to 87, and someone who had a monster game for the Oilers was Martise Kimbrough, who drained 11 of 15 threes and would defeat the single game record of threes in a game which was 10 held by Greg Colleg. He also broke the record for three pointers made in a season, which is now 99. The old record was 95 threes held by Nathan Hyde. The Oilers would move on from that big night against the Tiffin Dragons and move on to Ashland University. It was a rough start for the Oilers, but in the second half, they would go on a nice run to defeat the Eagles. The Oilers had a rough time from the field, making 46.9% of their shots. Ricardo Smith had a great game for the Oilers on both sides of the ball, finishing with a season-high 11 rebounds. Kimbrough would finish with 29 points against the Eagles. They are now 21-5 overall, 15-4 in the GLIAC. Martiz Kimbrough was also announced the GLIAC Player of the Week and NCAA Division II Athlete of the Week. The Oilers are nationally ranked 22nd heading into the postseason play. Both teams will be back in action today at Walsh University, and that can be heard on 88.3 WLFC. Also, the men's team will be back in action 7 p.m. in Croy Gymnasium for the start of the GLIAC tournament Tuesday night. Make sure to tune in and watch myself and color commentator Mac Williams for the first game. My name is Brandon Emsweller, and that was your UFTV Sports update. Back to you guys at the news desk. For more information on in these stories and more, visit our Finley Media Network page and our YouTube page. That's it for this edition of UFTV News. I'm Heidi Paxson. And I'm Alexis Mitchell, and have an awesome weekend. Underwriting is to UFTV what advertising is to commercial television. By sharing our costs, organizations can satisfy their corporate and marketing objectives through an association with UFTV programming. Our underwriting team can design a program that is custom made for you to reach your advertising goals on UF's media network, UFTV, The Pulse, or WLFC 88.3. To underwrite a program, contact UFTV at 419-434-5909.